My name is Janice Buckman and I am the Diversity and Inclusion Partner here at Butler. We are excited to be celebrating Black History Month and to share with you our series highlighting influential African American figures and the meaningful impact they have had on American culture. Hi, my name is Nisia Mejia and I'm an Associate Attorney here at Butler Weimuller Katz and Craig. I'd like to introduce you to two inspiring advocates of social and racial equality, Ella Baker and Mary McLeod Bethune. Freedom, justice, equality. Words that have been the cornerstone of the American foundation, yet remained so out of reach for much of its population. Ella Baker was one who sought to fulfill that promise. Born on December 13, 1903, Baker grew up with a strong sense of social justice due to her grandmother's teachings. During her studies, she would challenge racist school policies and would support social activist organizations to fight against prejudice. Baker worked with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s movement to promote greater enfranchisement for African Americans. She believed that the black community can only achieve freedom by exercising their rights to vote and expressing their collective voice. She believed that it can be made real by instilling those values in the next generations. Born on July 10, 1875, to two former slaves, Mary McLeod Bethune yearned for a greater education. She believed that education was the separating power between poverty and wealth. She became the only one in her household of 19 to achieve a formal education during her youth, a gift which she tried to share as much as possible with her siblings. Bethune completed her studies and began her career as a teacher in the South eventually serving as president for the Florida chapter of the National Association of Colored Women for many years. Wanting to fight for greater racial equality, Bethune became involved in government services. Lending her expertise to several presidents, she fought tirelessly for the rights of African Americans until her death in 1955. In her last will and testament, one of her final bequests reads, I leave you a thirst for education, knowledge, is the prime need of the hour. If I have a legacy to leave my people, it is the philosophy of living and serving. 